This is Fashion Fridays. Every Friday, we present you with a fashion icon or topic. Today, we're looking at 15 Things You Didn't Know About Ely Saab. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello, Aluxers, and welcome to another one of our exclusive videos. On July 4th, 1964, a baby boy was born to a middle-class family in Lebanon. He would grow up to have an enormous impact on the world of fashion design and haute couture. His name is Eli Saab. This remarkable man would conquer the fashion world despite having grown up in a country in the midst of a civil war hundreds of miles away. Eli Saab started off small in his native country of Lebanon. However, he would soon come to the attention of the international market. From there, he would go on to cement his place in the fashion industry. His journey is an inspirational one that many aspiring entrepreneurs can learn from. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. So Aluxers, let's take a look at the story woven into the fabric of his life by examining 15 things you didn't know about Eli Saab. Number 1. Eli Saab started to show an interest in fashion from a young age. When he was about 8 years old, Eli Saab showed he had a remarkable natural eye for fashion. He was soon sketching and making his own designs. This allowed him to experiment and find his own style. He saw firsthand the devastation of war when Lebanon's civil war began in 1975, leaving many Lebanese people displaced and forced to flee the country of their birth. His family moved from the Christian town of Damour after it was attacked and caught up in the fighting between Christians and Palestinian Muslims to the country's capital, Beirut. The Damour Massacre of 1976 was one of the most tragic episodes in a war that left the country torn apart. Despite the chaos that surrounded him, Eli Saab continued to dream of a career in fashion. Number 2. Eli Saab followed his dream and started his first label at the age of 18. At the age of 18, Eli Saab opened his first fashion label in Beirut. He'd studied fashion in Paris, but decided to give it up to return to Lebanon. Saab began by selling bridal gowns. He soon developed a reputation among the ladies of Beirut for his beautiful designs and originality. The label later diversified into supplying gowns and other ensembles to the women of high society. His popularity grew, and he was soon dressing Middle Eastern royals, such as Queen Rania of Jordan, who wore an Eli Saab dress for her coronation. Number 3. Eli Saab worked hard gaining a good reputation in Europe before looking to markets across the Atlantic Ocean. While Eli Saab had gained a lot of attention locally, his big international break had not yet happened. In 1997, he started to make a name for himself in the heart of the fashion industry in Europe. He showed his first collection in Rome that year. 1998 brought the designer even more attention. He showed a collection of ready-to-wear ensembles in Milan and added an accessories line to his label. In the same year, Eli Saab conducted another fashion show, this time in the Principality of Monaco. One of Monaco's most prominent royals, Princess Stephanie, attended the show, and it was her presence that brought more attention to the designer's work. Number 4. Eli Saab had his American celebrity breakthrough in 2002. The 2002 Academy Awards saw many firsts. Halle Berry became the first woman of color to win the Best Leading Actress Award for her riveting performance in Monsters Ball. While Halle's words of thanks were grabbing the attention of the attendees, so was her dress. The stunning burgundy gown had tongues wagging. In another first, a Lebanese fashion designer named Eli Saab had dressed an American actress for an award ceremony. People all of a sudden wanted to know more about Eli Saab and his designs. With one dress, Eli Saab's career took off in ways that not even he would have imagined. In a poll afterwards, the dress was voted the eighth best dress to ever have been worn on the red carpet at the Oscars. Number 5. 
Eli Saab has reportedly sold a dress for over $2 million. The dress in question graced the runway at Eli Saab's 2016 show. While the dress was absolutely exquisite, critics wondered who would want to spend such an exorbitant sum of money to wear a dress that weighed a reported 150 pounds. However, you should keep in mind that many ultra-rich celebrities and royals have worn Eli Saab creations on their big days. So it follows that there would be a market for such a dress, albeit a very small market. On average, the starting price of an Eli Saab wedding dress sits at about $12,000. Rumors have abounded since 1999 that Eli Saab designed and sold a dress for a jaw-dropping $2.4 million. The dress was hand-embroidered with numerous diamonds and emeralds, which accounted for the hefty price tag. Number 6. The financial crisis in 2008 affected the sales of brands such as Eli Saab. Like all other designers, Eli Saab faced a decline in sales in 2008. Fewer people were able to afford this exclusive label. Lebanon saw a sharp decrease in tourism owing to political instability. Eli Saab's Middle Eastern customer base would potentially shrink. His diversification into accessories and ready-to-wear ensembles kept Eli Saab's business growing. His increasingly impressive list of celebrity clients meant he was able to continue to gain international notoriety, which he translated into sales. Number 7. Eli Saab has had many of his designs counterfeited. In a shockingly candid interview, Vietnamese model Nhoc Ching admitted that over 80% of the designs in her shop were copied from other designers. She allows customers to send her photographs of dresses and clothing items, and then she copies them. Despite this being an intellectual property law violation in Vietnam, no legal action has ever been taken. The model remains unpunished, as very few designers have filed suits against her. However, Eli Saab can put himself in good company in this story. His designs were copied together with the likes of lofty designers Dolce & Gabbana and Valentino. Number 8. Eli Saab got himself in hot water in his home country back in 2018. Eli Saab's Instagram account was besieged with criticism from followers all over the Middle East in January 2019. Actress Gal Gadot was pictured wearing one of his dresses to an awards function. The actress was basking in the glory of her successful performance in Wonder Woman the year before. However, Gadot is an Israeli and therefore has completed her mandatory service in the country's armed forces. Many in the region were not happy with Eli Saab given the conflict between Israel and its neighbors. The war between Israel and Lebanon in 2006, in which more than 1,100 people, including innocent civilians, died in Lebanon, is still fresh on the minds of many across the Middle East. Number 9. Eli Saab is playing a valuable role in establishing formal education courses about fashion. Eli Saab is committed to making sure that aspiring fashion designers have access to a formal education in the field. While the designer had no formal education himself, he believes in offering the opportunity to others. He's collaborated with the London College of Education and with the Lebanese American University to design a curriculum which allows participants to graduate with a bachelor's degree in fashion design. The designer has been praised for keeping his home country in the loop to give young Lebanese designers the same opportunities. He also continues to take on interns to teach and mentor them. Number 10. Eli Saab is worth around $200 million. The fashion designer has been in the business a long time. However, since he came to the international scene, his fortune has grown consistently. He, his wife, and their three sons move between luxury homes in Lebanon, France, and Switzerland. In Lebanon alone, Saab owns three houses, one in Jemezi, which is in eastern Beirut, one in Rabia, outside of Beirut, and a mountain home in Fakra. 
And while this talented designer has yet to beat out his competitors to make it onto the list of the most expensive wedding dresses, his work continues to astound critics and customers alike. And Aluxers, we've covered this in detail in our Top 10 Most Expensive Wedding Dresses in the World video. You can check it out by clicking in the top right corner. Number 11. Eli Saab has just launched his Spring-Summer 2019 line. On January 23, 2019, Eli Saab's collection was on display at the 2019 Haute Couture Spring-Summer Collection shows in Paris, France. The designer had said in the prelude to the debut of his collection that his focus for the season had been femininity. Therefore, he had made an exclusive use of fabrics that offer a liquid quality. The use of sequins created an effective finish to many of his creations, adding to the liquid look of many of his designs. As usual, the collection included items that were hand-embroidered and hand-painted. The light, airy quality of his creations, combined with their extravagant finishes, were favorably received. Number 12. There's a high demand for Illy Saab dresses among celebrities. Lily Collins looked stunning in one of Ely Saab's floral gowns at the Art of Elysium's Heaven Gala in January 2019. With its gentle lines and gauzy effect, the actress and model turned heads. Emily Blunt wore a yellow Ely Saab creation with beautiful embroidered effects to the Australian Academy of Cinema and Television Arts International Awards in January of this year. Ely Saab remains hot in demand on the red carpet. Actress Rose Leslie married her Game of Thrones co-star Kit Harington in 2018, wearing one of Ely Saab's creations, for which the happy pair handed over a princely $20,000. Number 13. Ely Saab credits his Lebanese background for the originality of his designs. Ely Saab's creations don't only capture the Western silhouette that's popular among many designers. It's his inclusion of Middle Eastern flair that makes his designs stand out from others. The designer maintains that the sights and sounds of Beirut are his inspiration and allow him to create original ensembles. The number of celebrities and members of royal families who continue to wear his gowns and clothing are a testament to the winning combination that Saab uses in his designs. Number 14. Eli Saab has accomplished many firsts, paving the way for aspiring designers. Eli Saab's achievements in the fashion industry go all the way back to 1997. In that year, he was the first designer not of Italian descent to be granted membership of the National Chamber of Italian Fashion. In light of his runaway success after the 2002 Oscars, Eli Saab was invited to join the exclusive Chambre Syndicale de la Haute Couture. Furthermore, the designer was a judge on the 2016 season of Project Runway Middle East. Number 15. Eli Saab is building an haute couture empire. From those humble beginnings in the far-off city of Beirut, far away from the European heart of fashion, Eli Saab is an inspiration to all fashion designers around the world. He's proven that a designer with talent can make it big in the world of haute couture. His patience and willingness to work hard at producing creative original works has made him one of the world's most influential designers. With boutiques in cities such as Paris, London, and Dubai, and his clothes on sale in more than 22 countries, Eli Saab has also diversified his business to include bags, shoes, fragrances, and even jewelry. So Alexers, with all this said, we're curious to know, what do you think about Eli Saab's new collection? Let us know in the comments. And of course, as a thank you for watching with us all the way to the end, you get a bonus. Here it is, number 16. A nine-year-old Eli Saab used his sisters as his first models. Eli Saab was interested in creating fashion items as a young child. He would scour his home looking for scraps of material and lace to design and create clothes. When he couldn't find material, he would use newspaper. Then he would use his sisters as models to see the full effect of his creations. Whether they wanted to or not, they became their brother's mannequins. 
and luckily they did, as they were instrumental in helping their brother to follow his passion. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers! Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.